Welcome to our audio processing tutorial. Today we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers. They want to know how to interleave two NumPy 1D arrays to create a stereo audio output. Let's break it down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get through that solution just like me. And let's get started. To interleave two NumPy arrays for stereo audio output, we first need to ensure that both arrays are of the same length. This is crucial for proper interleaving. Next, we will use NumPy's functionality to interleave the two arrays. This means we will take one sample from the first array, followed by one sample from the second array, and repeat this process. Now that we have our interleaved array, we can prepare to write it to a stereo wave file. We need to specify the sampling rate and the name of the output file. Finally, we will use SciPy's wavefile.write function to save the interleaved array as a stereo wave file. This function requires the file name, sampling rate, and the interleaved samples. And that's it. You have successfully interleaved two mono audio streams into a stereo wave file. Make sure to test your output file to ensure everything sounds as expected. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To interleave two NumPy 1D arrays for stereo audio output, first ensure your arrays are column vectors. You can then stack them horizontally using np.hstack. Alternatively, if your arrays are already 1D, you can stack them vertically and then transpose the result. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To interleave two NumPy 1D arrays for stereo audio output, you can use NumPy's dstack function. First, convert your left and right audio data into NumPy arrays. Then, stack them together and access the first element to create your stereo data. Finally, save your interleaved stereo data using SciPy's wavefile.write function. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.